Hello, faith leader, and welcome to Break Time. Today, Psalm 21.3 says, You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. Now, this, this is a pretty cool passage because it's talking about, could it be talking about David, or could it be one of those passages that's pointing, you know, towards the Messiah? You know, David has a lot of those, and they're slithered in the Psalms, but God has been crowned. Jesus has been crowned as our king of kings. Yes, David was a king that was crowned as well with pure gold, but think of Jesus being crowned as your king. What a beautiful picture of God crowning the Lord Jesus as the king of kings and the Lord of lords. What does that have to do with daily life? You know, how, how, what difference does it make knowing that our savior was crowned with the king, with, as, you know, crowned with, with a crown. And the crown that he wore was a crown of thorns, but now he's crowned as the king of kings. But what difference does that really make? You know, you think of, you hear passages of scriptures like this and you think, okay, in my daily life, in my daily struggles, what difference does it make? All that I can tell you, the complete difference in the world. When you wake up in the morning and when you walk into your workplace or you walk into your family life or you walk into the grocery store, wherever you're walking, you're serving something. You're serving a king. So much, so much that's, that just changes the perspective on a daily basis, knowing that my heart belongs to a king. My, my daily walk belongs to a king. It's not my will be done, but thy will be done, you know? And so knowing that also, that you're a son or a daughter of a king, that when knowing that perspective on a daily basis, knowing that I belong to a royal family makes all the difference in the world of how I view myself and how I view others. And so if my king is Jesus, if I've crowned him as the Lord of my life, if I allowed his crown, excuse me, to be the Lord, to be the whom I'm going to follow, my king, the rest of my life, then it, it, it totally changes our daily walk our daily lifetime. Does that make sense? Because if I wake up in the morning and I don't know who I belong to, then I'm going to find something or someone to belong to. If I'm, if I'm looking, because we all have that sense that we have to belong to some, something or someone. But if I know who I belong to is a king, then, and then I'm, I'm part of belonging inside of his kingdom, then this is his kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I don't have to fret. I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry because my king is over all, you know, and I, as, and so as a result of that, I walk as royalty here, not as a snooty royalty, not snooty royalty, but humble royalty. And I get these pictures of what, you know, you know, people who are royalty in our world and the, you know, the Lord is over all. And so I imagine that, just imagine, I love imagination. So just imagine your daily perspective changing simply because you now no longer are ruled by any other force in this world other than the force of belonging to a king. And that king died for you. His first crown was the crown of thorns. And now he's been crowned with the crown of gold. And you bow before him in humble allegiance That's a beautiful picture. Put that in your mind tomorrow morning as you get ready. Put that in your mind today. Even if if you're being if you're being treated poorly, remember who you truly belong to. People's opinions may may harm, their words might hurt your heart, but remember what the words that are truly being spoken over you, that you are royalty. Walk in that.